This is the month when Ruth found her place in prophecy. Ruth found her place. This is the month when she was grafted, redeemed from who she was and grafted into the covenant of the Messiah through Boaz. Did you hear what I just said? Now, if all of you, you may not, you, it is through root Obed was born. Obed, Jesse was born. David was born. So that you understand the So Ruth is one of the great grandmothers of Jesus Christ. But then let me tell you another story. Two children were grafted into the covenant of Israel. Female children. One left to form a contrary spirit that will fight the spirit of Israel in the book of Ruth. Upper and Ruth were both married to the children of Elimelech who was a Jew. They were grafted into the covenant of Ruth. I mean, of, of the Jews, whether by mistake or by anyhow. That is why Ruth needed to be redeemed again. Later, by Boaz. Today, if you didn't understand the meaning of your salvation, in this month you will be redeemed again. If salvation didn't work for you before, it will work this month. They were grafted. No wonder all the children they gave birth to outside covenant, outside the revelation, died. Listen, because it is important. The sons of Elimelech married Upper and Ruth. They both died. Two wives were without husbands. And the mother said, well, I have nothing to do. Let me go back home. They both at first agreed they will follow her home. Then one of them changed her mind. She said she's going back to her people. Upper. Upper became the mother of Goliath. For those of you who don't know. Her, I said the same way we count the bloodline of Ruth connecting to David. She got married to a king who was of the sons of giants. He was a giant, a Moabite king. Go and do your research. She got married to a Moabite king who himself was a giant of the addition of fallen demons. Generations after, three generations after, just like it was about three generations to David, Three or four generations after, Goliath and his kindred, two cousins, connected by mothers who married in the same in the same family, were meeting from opposite end in battle. David and Goliath. Now I want you to see the cycles because. This month is the breaking of cycles. Cycles that will not make you, will not find you. I, I repeat, cycles that will not make you, cycles that will not promote you, they will not find you this month in the name of Jesus Christ. It's a mystery. Life is a mystery. It's not about our choices. It's about the choices that have been made in the heavenly places for us. If you will submit, your own will come to pass. Listen, because this is very important. Three 
three, four generations later, the sons of these two ladies that were both married to the covenant of the Jews and one decided to follow on and the other one decided to fall away. They meet again in battle. And one used the swords of spirits to fight the other. Goliath's sword was not ordinary sword. It was bigger than all the other human swords. It had a weight, its own weight in shekels and in gold. An average man couldn't carry that sword. So he needed another giant to become his armor bearer to carry the weight of his sword. Now, go and study your scripture. Because I'm about to say something that will blow your mind. And God said, you cannot fight with the same weapons because your own is inferior. Your own is smaller, shorter. It's like taking a jackknife. Eh? To fight somebody with a long spear. You will just stand there and just, you are gone. You won't even touch him with your jackknife. Listen, because this is very important. God said, you won't use that cover. I will give you a spiritual thing. The stones have always existed as witnesses of history. It was stones that his forefathers used to bear witness. Stones kept the covenants of heaven, became pillow for sons of God. The Bible says you shall be in league with the stones. It's there in the Bible. And God said, you will use a stone. The stone knows the history of Goliath. He knows the true fathers that gave birth to him, that they were fallen demons. The stones knows where to find the dwelling of those demons and bring them down. Send the stone, it is my witness. That was the most stupid thing to do. How can you take catapult and choose where refined beautiful stones and go with them? And in those days, they weren't pulling them the way we pulled them. They rolled them. So it was more sophisticated and complex. How do you get an aim rolling something? Listen, because this is very important. God chose a different weapon that was ancient. Because the weapon of that man that was ancient was being used against the kingdom of God. That stone had powers. Actually, if you go to some of the traditional history of the Jews, you will find out that that stone was actually given him by a god. I mean that, I say stone, that sword was given Goliath by a god. There is no way David will have won that battle if God has not chosen his weapon for him. Let God find the right weapon for you. That will bring down the circumstance in your life this month. In the name of Jesus Christ. So when you listen to this again. Choose your prayer items for the month. And your thanksgiving items. Now. Listen. This is the one that will blow your mind. That sword. Of the spirit that was made from the spirit. In another cycle, became the redemption of Israel. Did you hear what I just said? There was a time when there were no weapons at all. And David had lost hope. He was running away from his destiny and fate. 
He had been crowned king and he was running away from the kingdom. He was tired, he was hungry. And where did he run to? The temple. The high mountains of God. And the high priest that was in that temple. Because the guy was so hungry, he didn't have time to pray in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They took the communion bread that is meant for holy communion. Only priests could eat it. He ate it from hunger. They break all the new rules of holy communion so he can be grafted. You don't eat holy communion from the place of hunger because you are hungry. That's why they say if you are hungry, eat in your house before you come to eat the holy communion. It's not food to eat because you are hungry. David break that law. He ate because he was hungry. So he didn't eat like a gentleman. Chaka, chaka, chaka. He was just eating it anyhow defiling it drank of the cup he was not supposed to drink and then watch because there was no weapon he asked is there no weapon i've been running i cannot defend myself i hold a stick because i'm a shepherd and they said there is no weapon except one he and all the servants that ran with him had no sword he said except one the one of Goliath whom you killed. We hid it here. He now took a sword that was forged by spirits. By the covenant of another stranger. God will use those who are supposed to be your enemies to enthrone you. The cycle is going to come full. Where God will not remove them and will not break them. He will use them to carry you up. Amen. It's not everybody God has planned to kill because of you. No. There are those he has put it in their heart. Or he will put in their heart at the right time. Who do not belong to your lineage even to your beliefs to exalt you and I open that season for you in this month of Sivan receive it in the name of Jesus Moses took that weapon it was the only weapon about 300 soldiers had only weapon will they be sharing it and only one man now not the mystery. This is an, a weapon that could only be carried by a giant. A normal human being carried it. It's like that film you call Escalibo, Escalibo. That sword, you know, they call Escalibo in, in the Knights of the Round Table. There was this sword that could not be removed from the rock. Only the man in whose destiny it was to save, to be a messiah, could remove that that is the case of this. This guy walks in there just by eating Holy Communion. He got the powers of God. He, be, he became a God. That Holy Communion translated without being a God. He wouldn't have collected back his crown. In this month, as the Lord liveth, you will be translated into the place of God. You will leave this place as a God. We will eat of this communion and you will be another man in Jesus' name. Arise now. Let the giant in you be born. In the name of Jesus. Listen. Because this is very important. He took a sword that was forged from the fire of spirits that normal human beings of his size his weight even by weight physical weight cannot carry it the owner used a giant to carry it 
Then he, small average size human being, picked the sword as if it was a toy. That was the sword he used to get back the kingdom. It's not written in the Bible that the sword was changed or that it was broken because that sword could not be broken. That means in that sword, when God gave it to Goliath, he had forged the redemption of Israel in it. That is why the sword was refused to touch the covenant. He couldn't hit the covenant. And the covenant at that time was David. That sword could not kill the covenant. Maybe with that sword he had killed other people who had offended God. But he couldn't kill the covenant. The sword was brand new. David would just break it because he couldn't carry it. Whichever people carried it, he carried it and left. Nobody could use it. So it was left in the temple. It couldn't be kept with Saul. Evil spirits will kill him. The only thing that could contain that sword is an altar. So it was taken to the altar and left there. Then when another living altar came, activated by the covenant of communion, You must use communion this month to call forth Amen. your new story. Washed 
it quite as tonight I command you to begin to resurrect from every shadow of life that has served you evil let that let the earth vomit out that shadow now let its yoke be broken over your life let the blood of Jesus wash them away somebody shout the blood of Jesus somebody shout the blood of Jesus seven times the blood of Jesus 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 today I release that shout that blood to find every stain in your history every stain that has disconnected you and blot them out one by one I decree tonight no evil spirit will escape this messenger in the name of Jesus Christ let your life find freedom this month in the name of Jesus Christ somebody shout hallelujah can you put your right hand on your head say today before the God of heaven I take an oath before the father no strange cycle shall rest on my head again anything that attempts that I curse it with the curse of death let the firstborn of death take away that one in the name of Jesus Christ I didn't hear somebody shout amen by your confession your life shall be protected they that play with that played with your destiny they will not see you again. Yeah. Your destiny has changed in Jesus' name. Yeah. Anyone playing with serpents to control your cycle, I release life and death into that person's life. Yeah. If he chooses life by withdrawing his warfare against you, let him or her live. But if he or her chooses death by continuing against you, let Sivan not let them see the next month. I release the firstborn of death like it protected Israel in Egypt and cut them loose into the new covenant in Sinai. I release that angel to walk the earth on your behalf. Destroying everything that kills in your life. Receive a new life in the name of Jesus. Your strange shadows are broken. Can you just begin to bless the Lord somewhere? Give him the glory that is due to him. Father, I ask that you graft this ones back into your presence. Let your presence keep and sustain them. Let your presence feed them. Let the mystery of your presence manifest everywhere they enter. Let there be somebody always watching out for them I say watching out for them I release your helpers to find you I release your destiny makers and creators to carry you from today every step you take will not be ordinary anymore receive your miracle in the name of Jesus and tonight if sickness had spoken let the serpent behind that sickness die 
Let the root of that sickness be cut out of your body. I curse that sickness out of your life now. Receive the miracle that follows it. And be healed in Jesus' name. Can you wave to the Lord with that right hand and shout, Amen. Can you wave to the Lord with that right hand and shout, Amen. Amen.